trying not to stay the night that I first met you. You had me mesmerized. And three weeks later in the front porch light, taking 45 minutes to kiss goodnight, I hadn't told you yet. But I thought I loved you then. What's up, everybody? It is CNN Mafia. We're back in business. I know everybody has missed us. We missed y'all. Um, we've been getting a lot of texts and Snapchats and stuff um, a while back. But uh, starting YouTube again. So here we are. Um, I know y'all seen the video posted that she tried to do on me. The prank. I'm going to start getting you watch. But she failed. And I succeeded. In that prank, even though I was coming home to do a prank on her, you suck. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this video is about why. Well, y'all know about the description. Y'all know about the description. But this video is about why we basically stopped for a while. Um, do you want to start? A or year. yeah, no, it was a whole <laughs> year ago that we posted. Almost maybe huh? like ten months. Yeah, almost. I'm not sure. It's been a long time. We've been craving to be on YouTube so bad, guys. Like, yeah. we've been waiting. We've been waiting. But because we wanted to wait until we got a camera and a computer. But we were like, you know what? We're going to hustle for this. Mm -hmm. and we're going we're gonna to do this. So we're going to do it on the phone. It might not be best quality, guys. but It's better quality than the other yeah. one, though. Really, really good quality. Um... But anyways, guys, let's get into this video. Um, basically, why we stopped is we were in a short, sweet, to the point. I don't want to make this a long video. Um, basically, we just started struggling for a while. Um, everything was just going downhill for, my, for us. Um, it's just like just so many things just kept piling on each other, piling on each other. And we just hit a really big slump. And... It just kept going down for some reason, kept going down. And finally, after praying every day, you know, asking for help and family members helping us. Um, after your hard work. But yeah, it's just, we were just going down, down and down. And then after all the, both of us putting in hard work, trying to get us back on our feet, um, having finally some help from some people and pushing us back onto our feet. Finally, we're here in our own apartment. It's small. But it's an apartment for a couple. We don't need nothing big for right now. And two um, dogs. Yeah. Because we still have our babies. Oh, yeah. Y'all remember them, right? But, yeah. Um, that's basically what happened. Um, I don't... Do you want to get into detail? Not really. Because I know the people that we're going to be talking about are going to watch this. Um, I was talking about detail, meaning, like, not the people, but, like, detail of, like, what actually happened. Like... Well, I guess, yeah. He just kept jumping from place to place and place and getting screwed over from place to place to place. I don't Except the last place we were at, which was with one of my best friends. Oh, okay, yeah. And she was really nice. Her yeah. parents were really nice and kept and let us stay at their house. Yeah. And shout out to y'all because y'all helped us get on our feet. Mm -hmm. My mom was a big help too. No, yeah, help. yeah. Mom, but I was talking my mom's always place, there for me <laughs> staying at places wise yeah but it's just like we kept jumping from place to place and like we tried so hard to to help those people but it was just it was so hard for us to help ourselves exactly it was like and then I was trying so hard to get a job I applied if y'all don't know we live in Conroe we live in Conroe Texas or uh, most of our beginning subscribers know because most of them I went to school with um, but we live in Conroe, Texas. It's really, it's not a small, we are, is like in the center of a whole bunch of businesses. And I literally applied for every freaking job. Like, every, like not I had, we had, every not exaggerating, every one. job. And I never got a call back. I kept calling them. They kept saying, oh, okay, well, we'll, we'll talk to the manager and we'll call you back. Left my number. Like over and over again, the same situations over and over again. And, and like, no, it just, I didn't, I didn't have luck, and I don't know why. When I first turned 15, my first job was Kroger's, and I got in there like nothing, and I was 15, you know? And I'm, I, was, I was applying, we were, I was 19, right? 
18. No, 19. I'm turning 20, girl. Oh, yeah, 19. 19. Yeah. <laughs> turning 20. Hey, and she turned 20, guys. Yeah. Forgot about that. Y'all missed her birthday. Birthday. <laughs> that birthday vlog would have probably been lit. Yeah. It's coming up, guys. August. So get ready. Get ready. That birthday vlog is going to be lit because all weekend, y'all going to have a vlog every day. You know what I'm saying? But yes. Um, but anyways. <laughs> Whoa. What you got planned? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about some things. I got some things in my mind. My 20th birthday is gonna be lit, and the 21st birthday is gonna be even more lit. Yeah. Oh yeah. But anyways, back to back to what I was saying. Um, but yeah, I just applied and applied and applied. It was just not working out. It was just not working out, and I don't know why. And everybody that we stayed with wouldn't understand that for some reason. Like before we even get into their home. We told them like, hey, we don't. Ha I don't have a job right now. Neither of us have a job right now. We just need help. If y'all can just let us stay for a little while, and eventually, as soon as I do get a job, y'all will get money. I promise y'all that. I don't. I'm not here to take advantage of nobody. I'm not here to like to on your. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm not on your life. I'm not here to be a burden on your life. You know, at just that time, we were in a big struggle, and I, all I needed, all I asked and needed was help. And every single time, like, I would tell them that in the beginning and they say they would understand. Mm -hmm. And then a month would go by and it's like, oh, I need this. Oh, I need $400. Or, oh, I need $500. I don't even have a job yet. Now, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand, you know. And, and how, the reason why I was so, like, so mad about those people is because my house right now, I had someone staying here. We had something, somebody staying here for, what, a month or two. I don't know. But I I have them saying you're rent free, like because they needed help, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm that's what I'm about. You know, if you don't have if you're telling me that you need a place to stay and you don't have money, you don't have a job right now, I'm willing to help. And you you know you can stay at my home just as long as you respect my house. You know, um, you know if if respect our dogs, if, respect our dogs, respect us, respect our things. You know, that's all I ask. Understand that you don't have it. You mm -hmm. know. I'm helping you out because you asked me for help. So I'm not going to sit here and, and boom, boom, boom. You know, I'm not going to sit there and do that. And then that's just what, that's what happened in every single place. It was like, I'm sorry. I was talking, I was talking a lot. But you know. Yeah. Not going into full detail, but it sounds like we were just going, literally just moving each, to each place, which wasn't exactly the thing. It was us getting kicked out yeah. of each other's home. And then we ended up going with a friend, and that friend helped us out a lot. But she did; she wasn't able to keep helping us because her sister was being a little, <laughs> you know. And she said, "It's either they get out, or you and your three kids get out." And we were not gonna let that happen. She helped us out. We were not gonna let that happen. Exactly. And then after that, we I mean, she got she got a, sorry, she got us off the street. Like we were I, before that. We we were living in the car for like a week, mm -hmm. and she found out that we were living in the car, and she you know offered offered her um her her room her room. her room her room it was it was a trailer it only had two rooms her kids had one and she had the other and she even uh, she offered her room and she stayed on the couch guys like, that's how much I appreciated that mm -hmm. and the fact that she as soon as she said that it was either us get out or them, I was like, well, we're going we're gonna to bounce. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to put you on that situation, especially because you got three kids. Yeah. Like I said, we're, we're really good people. And, and I know there's probably going to be a lot of people out there that sees a lot of social media stuff that was in the past. Because there is a lot of social media stuff that people are talking mess about us and yeah. blankly telling lies about us. If y'all want the truth, ask. Because... I have no reason to lie. You have no reason to lie. Exactly. We have no reason to lie. We love our, our subscribers. We only have a little bit for now. But I promise you, them subscribers. We're hoping to grow. We're hoping to grow. And I really hope that y'all will let us grow and help us grow. And yeah, but that's just basically what it was. It was continuing with what I was saying. <clears throat> and then after that, we lived in the car for three, three months. months. It's like three or four months. We lived in the car for three months with our dogs, <laughs> two dogs and two humans in a Pontiac. Yeah. In a Pontiac with all our belongings, sleeping in the back. 
Oh, baby. Don't cry. Those, this, this is supposed to be happy moments. This is supposed to be happy moments now because we came up from that. Look where we are now. I know. It's not sad tears. It's like, damn. We, yeah. We were really... Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. We really hit rock bottom. Yeah, we, we really did. We really did for a while. And all we did was ask for help and help and help. And you just... And then after that, then with my mom... And she moved in as well. And we're not gonna get in. No, wait, wait, wait. Before, yeah, not, before yeah. you say anything else, we're not gonna get to all that. Yeah, I'm not. Um, because that's just too much. Just too yeah. much out there. I, like, I want to just... know what happened with that request. Yeah, requested because that's that's kind of something. It's not big. I mean, it's big. It is. It's just. It's what I'm gonna big. say is basically we moved in with her with her mom. And things it just were, didn't work out. Things were great in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, rock bottom. And I ended up going to jail. So, that's a little sneak peek. If y'all do want that story, that can be one of our story time videos. If y'all want that, just let us know. Um, y'all know where to comment that. And, after, and what? after that, my godmother, thank God I have the greatest godmother ever. She I, helped I us. I love her godmother. I love her <laughs> she to us. death. I love you. I love you, godmother, for watching this. I love you, Madrina. Love you. What'd you say? Madrina. Oh. I love you. You're but, my godmother just like you're her godmother. But yeah, she helped us get into this trailer that we shared with this person that we know, which we don't talk to anymore. And we stayed there for a month. We were fixing to start our second month there, and the landowner was like, which, you know, which, wait, 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 wait. Which is this right here? If you ever have a landlord that does this, they are straight assholes, okay? I'm not bleeping that out either because, you know what? What he, what she's about to say was straight, like, I have never heard this ever in my life. Well, he was, he was basically like, y'all need to get out because I'm moving my family in. I don't care. If you don't have a place, I, yeah, y'all need to That's get out. That's literally Just what he out. said. That's get literally what he said. He didn't give us time. He didn't, he didn't give us a deadline, nothing. So we had to be the people worried about ourselves because we didn't have the car. Yeah, we didn't, we've yeah. lost the car because, yeah. oh we yeah, we didn't mom. tell them that. Before we moved into her mom, we lost the car because we, we, were, we were chilling at the park. Yeah, I think we were chilling at the park and all of a sudden it just wouldn't turn on again. Yeah. And that's how her mom jumped into the picture because the only person we knew at the time that was able to fix cars and and know about cars was her stepdad. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Yeah, he they're not. not they're not. Yeah, me. sorry, they're not married. So yeah. So yeah. Even her if boyfriend. they were married, he's nothing to me. Yeah. Whoa. All right. <laughs> but anyways, um, but yeah, we lost the car. So when we moved into the trailer that her godmother helped us with, we didn't have a vehicle. So it was kind of like. Him telling us to get out, it was kind of like making me stuck because I'm not finna bring, you know, I'm about to pay my rent and you're telling me to get out because your family's coming in. So I'm not finna put basically my family because we're engaged and my two dogs, they're like our, our kids. I'm not finna put my family onto the streets because you just want your family to come in. Like that's so messed up. And like selfish. I understand. Yeah, I understand it's your family and family comes first in situations, but... When a client pay their rent and you're going to tell them that they have to get, like, they, you don't want their money, that they have to get out because your family. Like, that is so messed up. That was so messed up. So, we didn't have, I didn't have a choice but to call the cops and to get my eviction because I needed some time to find somewhere else to go. Because that just... Do you remember the eviction? Yeah, <laughs> and then the eviction notice that he gave us, it was like... It was handwritten. It was handwritten. And it was misspelled in every... <laughs> I was like, this is not even a legit eviction notice. So it gave us a little bit more time. And then one of our, uh, a friend that we. That this, we met. Yeah. Um, we knew her in, in high school. Um, I knew of her. I didn't know her. I, I knew her. I think we talked like once or twice in school um, during lunch. But um, we, we went to Pride and we hung out with her. So we kind of like got to know her a little bit better. And 
we somehow we told her i think she asked what the, don't really yeah remember. i don't remember what the conversation was but basically we got into the conversation of us getting kicked out and basically she told us that she would talk to her mom and, and whenever she said that we were like oh my gosh i was like i'm so yeah. glad she came into exactly. our life she's like, helping us exactly. oh my gosh nope and, and yeah, and she way. said, yeah, she said it was, she's going to talk to her mom, see if, she can, if we can have a spare bedroom. And before we moved in, we talked to the mom, she gave us a price and we told her, you know, that's, that's a fair price, but I need to get a job first. So I wouldn't be able to give that to you now because like I said, you and know, she we were just getting kicked out. And she said it was fine. And, and then as soon as we moved in, she gave her an, a, um, I just lost my words. Um, that I was helping her. Yeah, working. Um, I was, I was she gave her a good. Her. Yeah, she gave her a good offer of basically working with her cleaning houses. And then she and, would pay me at the end of the week. Yeah, and basically her working would pay, f like she would get the money at the end of the week. And, and that's the that's, that's the, the money, money that we would use. Yeah, that's the money we would pay. use to pay the rent. So I'm trying, what I'm trying to get out for the room. Yeah. Pretty much. Basically, yeah. And we were there for a month or two? A month. See what I'm saying? You see what we're saying? Like, each place was like a month. Yeah. It was like a month, literally. And every place that we were, we did everything in our power to make those people happy. Meaning, when... If they... Because when we were living with the last person, the last friend that we were saying, uh, that we were talking about, that her mom and all that, um, she... We basically... We cleaned the house for them... You know what I'm saying? We we cleaned the friend's uh, room like two, three times. Like we did stuff for them that they didn't ask us for, mm -hmm. you know, just to respect their home and, you know, to help out. And we got nothing in the return but being called ungrateful, bums, ungrateful, yeah, ungrateful people and just called the cops on us and everything. After that, my best friend, because I had already called her before. When all this the, all went down, and I was like, you know, can I stay in your house? She's like, you know, I don't have a room. I do have an extra room, but we're being, we're using it for something else, and there's no space. So I was like, okay. And then when that happened, I called her again, and I was like, you know what? Um, it's, do you have a room now? And she was like, yeah, I do. And she took us in. They took us in. They didn't ask for a penny. Nope. The only thing they asked for was $50 in groceries. But I wasn't able to give him that until I got my job, which is the job that I'm working at now. Well, he didn't even um, give him that because he didn't ever ask for never, it. Yeah, he never asked for it, which was great. Because, like, literally, we didn't spend money on extra things to use that money for really anything. And, and then with her, the reason why we moved into this apartment in a month was because they needed that room for her grandma. So we were like, you know... We understand, like yeah. yeah, like it's time for it us. It was to her. I think her grandma windows. was her. I think her grandma was sick or yeah. sick or something. So they, ha they that was the only option was her to go there. So you know we're not gonna sit there and be a burden. You know your your grandma needs help. So we hustled to get somewhere else. And instead of finding roommates or somewhere else, we were like, you know what, I finally have a job. Let's get into an apartment. And we came upon this one. We had the beginning. Like the beginning coming into the apartment, they had great deals. It was a really good discount, even for the second month. So it got us on our feet real, real good. And then my job now is just the best job I've ever had so far. Like, I love the people that I work with. My boss is amazing. Pay is great. I wish it would be better. Obviously, anybody, you know, yeah. I wish I was a millionaire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, anybody, anybody wants that. So... But where we are now is just great. Um, if anybody is worried about us, we're we're good. We're great. Everything's great. We're in we're in our own home. Yeah. Feels great to be in your own home. To come home to your own home. To do whatever you want in your own home. Like it's just a really good feeling to have to your have own place. To have your own rules. Yes. 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 But yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, if you have any other questions. You know where to put those questions. I don't have to tell y'all. <laughs> y'all know where to put them. Down below. Um, anything else, baby? No. No? 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 Don't cry. 
She I'm cried. Emotional. She cried. She cried on camera, guys. <laughs> it's your first time crying on camera. No, you made me cry when you pregnant me with my ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm talking about ring. And I then, hey, on. and I want to tell y'all, because I didn't tell y'all this. That first prank that we did, the ring prank, I swear that prank, that video looks so freaking fake. fake. It looked fake. It looks so fake. But I swear, that video was not fake, like, at all. Like, I literally took her ring, and it was a real reaction. Everything that I love, that, that, that video was not fake whatsoever. Like, I had her sister helping me and everything. It was, in a, it was a small house, so, like, wherever she was, I was basically, and her sister, so it was hard. She took her somewhere, I don't remember. But I swear, guys, that video was not fake. It looks fake, but yeah. it's not. It's not fake, I promise. I promise. I promise. We wouldn't lie to you. But yeah, um, I said I didn't want to make this video long, but <laughs> we had to tell y'all. Yeah. It's not that long, but um, yeah, um, any other video requests, let us know down below. Um, y'all know where to put those in the comment section. Um, any prank ideas? Same for me. And if y'all can, like, can draw me, it down. DM me, me, DM me. DM her, prank ideas, we check our DMs, you know, we're not as popular, so we have, you know, we can check our DMs, you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, share, comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, we have our app where we check our views and everything, and we and have a lot of views, we have a lot of views, but the views are from non-subscribers, exactly, so, so guys, come on now, subscribe, we're back, and we're not going nowhere else no more, like we're not gonna stop no more. We we're gonna our try to upload track. every single day. Trying to work around your schedule. Yeah, because I do work. I, I'm telling y'all guys, I do work a lot. Um, so if y'all want to see more of us and more daily, or which we're gonna try to do, like I said, I, we I do work a lot, but we are gonna try our best to upload as much as possible every day. Um. Some days, just you gotta understand, sometimes I come home tired because like I said, I do work a lot. Um, which I'm not complaining about. I love working. That's That's been my thing for a while. Like, I love working. Um, but if y'all want to see more, gotta get them subscribers up. You have to get them subscribers up. That's what you gotta do. But yeah, um, just like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell them again. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> yeah, y'all can't forget that. And hit that notification button too, so every time that we post, that y'all can see it, and y'all can click it, and y'all can watch it as soon as we post it. Just like this prank that we just posted. Somebody failed at. Shush. I keep saying that because it's funny. It's really, really <laughs> funny. It's really funny how she failed. She really thought she was going to get me, guys. She really I really did. Really you thought. said I was if you wouldn't have seen yeah. the camera. Yeah, she would have gotten me because... because I didn't see the camera. I know in the video y'all are gonna see where I said when I first walked in I did see the camera, but that was that was a mistake. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say when I was standing, y'all see y'all will see in the video like the, where the counter is, the corner. I put it. I I wrote yeah. down when you seen it. Yeah, you can see when yeah. you see the camera. As soon straight. as I seen it, well, like before I seen it, I was as soon as she said, um, I gotta tell you something. Like my blood pressure went up, like. I started, my blood started boiling. I was like, tell me what? <laughs> like, I was so confused. I was so confused. And then she switched up the living room, so I was even more confused. Switched up the living room, so what is going on here? And then you're telling me that you got to tell me something. Like, I don't know. It's just things were just, <laughs> when she said that, just things were going on. I was like, what? And then as soon as I turned, I seen that camera. I was like, oh, she want to play. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, it's a prank, ain't it? I see the camera over there. But I was like, let me just drag it on. Because we might as well make a video out of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And remember to go watch that prank. Because it's really funny. Um, I think it is. If y'all think it is. If you don't think it is, oh well. Like, wow. nice <laughs> watch. Like. Yes. Um, but anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Um, we'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.